Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're going to do a part two of the quirks and features of the Hyundai Elantra N. So just like last time, I told you guys I'm a big fan of Doug DeMuro and I did a previous video that I'll link up here and it'll be in the description of the weird uh, quirks of the Elantra N and some of the cool features. And there's actually so many that I decided to do a uh, part two. And one of the ones uh, is actually, well, a couple of them are based off of some of the comments I got on that last video. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into some more weird quirks and features of the Hyundai Elantra. All right, guys, so a very strange feature of this Hyundai Elantra N, and I think this is actually a Hyundai thing, not just the Elantra N is, these windshield wipers, you can't just pull them up. Uh, let's say you want to replace your windshield wiper blade. You can't just pull them up because you'll see it actually hits the hood here. So it's a, it's a hidden windshield wiper feature that's on the Elantra N and I believe other Hyundai models. So how the heck do you change your blade out? Or if you want to get under there with a rag, you can't really do it very well. So how do you do that? I'm going to show you how. So you get in the car, you turn the car on, okay? And then you turn the car off and you hold the windshield stock up. And you can see after a couple seconds, they pop up. You can get out and you can see you fully have the ability to pull the whole thing up there. So I was stumped about this. So I had to do a search and figure out how to do this, but pretty simple. And then once you get back in, you turn the car on and then you just have to put them down, hit the sock and they go right back down. So pretty cool, different. Um, I've never had a car with hidden windshield wipers. So kind of a strange feature of the Elantra N. Now, another really interesting thing about the wipers, and this is less of a quirk, but just kind of a really cool feature is that when you turn, well, first of all, I'll show you the stock. It's a little different than most wipers. Um, you actually have this little button here that is the adjustment for the intermittent settings. And it's actually on both sides. So let's see if I can get a better shot here. So you can see it's actually on the back too. So you kind of, you can grip it with both fingers like that, uh, which is really cool. But one of the really cool things is when you put your wipers on, it actually shows you the setting here. You can see that it actually shows you on screen what setting you're at, which is really cool, because then you can just instantly know where you are in position. I've had other cars where it has like a rotating wheel or you know whatever, and it doesn't show you anything on the screen. So sometimes it kind of takes you a little bit to figure out what speed you have your wipers going at. But this is really cool between the stock and what it shows you on the screen, it's just, I really enjoy it and I haven't seen that in any other car. So I just think that's an awesome feature that Hyundai has. So a great feature of the Elantra N is the stereo, which is a Bose stereo. Now, the only problem is the way that this stereo is set from the factory, it sounds not good. I mean, I wouldn't say terrible, but it just does not have a very good sound to it. Uh, it's an eight speaker system. You can see here, you got, one down there, you got a tweeter up here, there's a center speaker up here, and then you have a subwoofer in the back, and then speakers back there. So eight in total, like I said, um, it's a Bose, it's supposed to be pretty good, um, but this one did not sound good whatsoever from the factory. So what I figured out is, you have to go into the uh, sound settings here, and you go to tone, and the way that this is set up from the factory is all of these are at zero. Now, when I first figured this out, I said, oh, well, it's got an equalizer. Let's just throw them all up to 10 <laughs> uh, to the highest setting or up to nine, I guess is the highest setting. But what I figured out is it did not sound good still. So I actually saw someone make a comment on someone else's video. Basically, what they said is the mid range on this Bose speaker system is just terrible. These are my prime settings that I figured out sound the best. And having the mid-range just set at zero, the treble about halfway up at five, and the bass at nine, it actually sounds really good now. 
So it just took some finagling and some, uh, you know, going into the equalizer and setting those settings. But the key here is to keep that mid range at zero. And it is an entirely different sounding stereo now. It actually sounds really good. And um, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. I thought I was gonna have to replace speakers. And now that I figured this out, it's just a, it's a game changer. So if you guys have uh, the Bose stereo in, I don't, you know, it might be a different Hyundai product, but in your Elantra N specifically, do these settings and it'll blow your mind how much better the stereo sounds. All right, so in the original video that I made of the quirks and features, I showed you guys the exhaust situation. So quirk number two is going to be the exhaust. As most of you guys know, this car comes with a valved active exhaust. You can go from a relatively mild sound to a very aggressive pops and bangs kind of sound. Well, what you might not know is, depending on which setting you're in, the exhaust gases will only come out of one side of the exhaust. This is normal mode, and you can see that the exhaust is obviously only coming out of the left side exhaust. We're gonna put it into, you can see normal mode. We're gonna put it into sport. Now, as you watch, the exhaust is only coming out of the right side. And this will be the same as N mode. So sport and N come out the right, normal and eco come out the left, which is pretty interesting. I thought when you would be in N mode or sport mode, it would be coming out of both exhausts and only normal would be just the left, but it's actually just comes out of one side or the other. So kind of an interesting thing in the winter time when someone's behind you and they're wondering why is his exhaust only coming out of one side, even though he has a dual exhaust car? Well, there you go. I did a little experimenting with this because a lot of you guys that commented on the video said, wait, no, no, no. When you put it in end mode, it's supposed to come out of both exhausts. So I'm going to show you the car in regular mode and I'm gonna rev it. And then I'm gonna put it into end mode and I'm gonna rev it. And we're gonna see which side it actually comes out and we'll be able to determine what's actually going on here. So here it is in normal mode. And then here it is in end mode. So we have our results. So in normal mode, it's only coming out of the left exhaust pipe. In end mode or sport mode, it comes out of both when you rev it. Kind of varies as you're idling, but driving along or revving it, it's gonna come out of both. So there you go. So a very, very cool feature that the Elantra N has that I didn't even know it had when I bought the car and figured out afterwards is this car comes with a built-in turbo timer. So I don't think Hyundai calls it a turbo timer, but it works essentially just like a turbo timer does. Now the whole premise is, th is that if you're driving your car and you get it up to temp and you shred it off, what can happen is the turbo can start caking up inside with oil because the fluid just becomes stagnant. So what a turbo timer does is in a, in a regular car, if you have a turbo timer, it continues running oil uh, through the turbo to help it cool down and prevent the caking of the oil. And so the Elantra actually has this built in. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the turbo timer now, how this works. We're gonna turn the car off. Hopefully you can hear that and that's the fan that's running, that's circulating the oil through the turbo. And this will run for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, depending on how hard you've driven the car. There you go, and just shut off. Very, very cool feature. All right, guys, that wraps up the video of more quirks and features of the Hyundai Elantra N. If you guys have one of these and there's something that I've missed or something that you discovered along the way, let me know and I'll uh, maybe I'll make a round three. So anyways, uh, thanks guys as always. Like and subscribe and comment. I wish to reply to all of them. So till the next video, peace out.